This game sucks. Carry and copycat. There's already a game like that. This has been done so many times. It's not original. Stop! Two months ago, I made a horror game where the roles are reversed. Instead of being the one chased, you're the one who's chasing. And to prove everyone wrong, I'm gonna make the greatest game of all time. Or at least make it more unique. So let's open the project. Damn! This hasn't been worked on in a while. Small recap for the ones who haven't seen the game yet. You need to finish the test right here before the girl leaves the forest. So your mission is to change some signs, turn off the lights and collect some papers and stuff. Before that you can't go near her, otherwise you'll just lose the game. I've got a lot on my list, such as adding essential features, making the game harder and adding some bonus content. So let's get to work. My first objective is to add a timer. Firstly I need to know how long it actually takes the girl to escape the dark, scary forest. I'ma just be creeping behind her while she walks. And she's out. It takes her 3 minutes and 50 seconds to reach the end. Alright, the timer was quickly implemented. And it should be working. I guess it doesn't. So I fixed that and even added a very fancy color change once the timer drops below 10 seconds. The budget for the video is definitely gone after that. The game essentials are pretty much done. We got a timer, we got some tests. We can now go a bit deeper and add some lore and content to the game. Before doing that, you might want to check out the free PDF I've got in my description that might help you if you're struggling with staying consistent on game development. But let's talk extra content. The girl noticed that there's a monster hiding in the forest, so she finally decided to fight back. She placed down multiple traps around the forest to slow the monster aka you down, and she called the cops on you, so they will be helping her as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This won't be the next Five Nights at Freddy's, alright? The first thing I added are the traps. You can't actually get stuck yet, but patience. Let me code it real quickly. Here we go. Once you step into the trap, you're stuck for a good 5 seconds, which is valuable time that you're gonna lose. This could turn into a whole speedrun type game, dude. You gotta avoid the traps and that to beat the timer. I just placed a couple of them somewhere around the map, and that should be good enough. The next thing is a goddamn journey, so be ready. For the police, I decided to use this very, very buff dude right here. Now I need some walking animations and stuff for him and luckily there are programs that do that for us. He looks just a bit uncanny when doing literally anything bro. You're not a model. I'll just try a different program. And obviously it works even worse with that one. What is that? Don't know why the frame rate is like this either. He can hit the Gangnam style though. I definitely deserve a sub just for that right? I tried to just go with it and imported everything into the Unity project. Unfortunately, he completely gave up on being a policeman and decided to be literally God. Bro, what happened to you, man? That's not normal behavior. I'm pretty sure he's the monster now and not me. So, shining policeman into the trash. You're the new police. Not gonna lie, you could be in these goofy mobile games, man. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but is this policeman looking kinda THICK? Alright, I'm sorry. I put my man into the game and he at least doesn't begin to radiate and his animation works as well. I'm not sure why, this just seems like a whole fever dream. Now I moved on with it and gave him a hitbox and some physics and that. You know, the usual stuff an NPC needs and he's working fine for now. Don't think he will serve and protect anything so far though. I clicked a few buttons and that will hopefully make him walk properly. Alright, I might have to click a few more buttons, man. That's good enough, I call that a W in my books. Let me move on to the next thing. Once the policeman actually catches you, you're done, right? You lose the game. So it wouldn't be really fair for you if he's just practically invisible in the dark. I feel like a flashlight would be a good indicator where the policeman is right now. So I just used some random 3D model that I found. That's a big flashlight. And some mysterious light is coming out everywhere for no reason. But no worries, because I'm an absolute beast at Blender, I fixed the issue in a matter of seconds. See? No light coming out where it shouldn't come out of. Just make it a bit smaller for his tiny hands and that looks decent. Let's try it out. Hey, Brody, you forgot your flashlight, G. It kind of works now, I guess. Definitely good enough for me. Now I copied Mr. Thick Policeman and cloned him two times. So the girl has an actual security team behind her. They just walk around and surveil the area a bit. Now I wanted to add a feature where you can defuse the trap, right? Because I just kept walking into the same one when testing the game. But it turned out to be really unnecessary, so I just removed it. It was a nice idea though, kind of like Dead by Daylight where you can disarm traps and stuff. To give the game a bit more variety, I've changed up the different lose and winning screens. This is the lose screen when the girl just escapes the forest. This is when the police catches you, and you've already seen the one when you just decide to walk into her. Look at you man, looking all depressed and stuff. And this is the normal winning screen that I added last video already. And to top it off, I increased the path which you can go, so it's a lot harder for you to actually find her after finishing the task. The map is pretty big, so it might actually take you a while before catching her. The blue markings on the map are where the AI of the girl can walk to. The game is a lot more difficult now, so that's another thing checked off. The last mission on the list is to add some bonus content. For the more casual gamer audience that don't 
speedrun games. I added the easter egg tombstone from last video, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Then I made him blender and it just glows in the dark and gives you extra 5 seconds of time when you climb it. Thinking about it a bit more, it kind of seems like the tombstone is the tombstone from the old policeman, cause he glowed as well. So he died and he's now bonus content. It's just a theory though. And there are also some beautiful fireflies in the dark now, that when you catch them give you extra 5 seconds as well. And that's pretty much it, the hate comments can go now.